Walmart brand brown rice. Walmart brand brown rice. Walmart brand brown rice. It's cheap, available, and colonizes quickly. It's also ideal for new cultivators. It's easier to sterilize than other grains, such as wild bird seed or rye berries. It creates great pin sets and healthy fruits. Today I'll be preparing five pounds of rice. This preparation is easy and fast and produces seven to eight pounds of hydrated grains. To prepare, you want about two times the volume of rice in water. This happens to be about six quarts, so I just fill a shoebox. Now bring it to a rolling boil. Once you fucked around with the bag for a while and had a dab or two, should be at a nice boil. And what you're gonna do is just dump your five pounds of rice straight in there and then immediately set a timer for 10 minutes. All right, set a timer for 10 minutes and turn it down a little bit. You just wanna add a simmer. I'm at about a thousand feet elevation. If you live really high up or really close to sea level, you might need to increase or decrease the time by a minute or so. Just give it a little stir. You don't got you don't got to stir it constantly, but this just uh, helps wash it a little bit. One of the reasons I like this Walmart brand rice is it's not uh, not very sticky. It's a lot easier to break up than other brands of brown rice that I've tried. When you're waiting for the timer, you can pass the time however you like. You can go check out my new website, ncdgenetics.com. I have high quality microscopy samples, spore prints, and spore swabs. I also recently released a new line of merch. For those of you looking to support me, these are two really good options. I also have a Patreon. I don't post much on it, but if you want to give a donation, I'll be more active on it in the future. As always, links to everything will be in the description. I also have a link tree link on my YouTube channel. All right, it's about 30 seconds till the timer's going off. So I went ahead and I got a strainer and I'm just gonna go ahead and strain out the rice. There's gonna be a bunch of rice stuck to the sides. It's nice to scrape it out with your hand once it's a little bit cooler and you can get the rest of it. Okay, at this point you wanna you wanna rinse it with cold water to stop it from cooking anymore. Make sure you do this pretty thoroughly. It should feel cool to the touch all over when you're done. This also helps rinse some of the starches out and makes it less sticky. All right, that's pretty good. And then you just want to give it a nice 
shake to get all the, all the water you can off it. All right, and I'll just let it sit for about 15 minutes to drain whatever it's gonna drain. Then you can just jar it up or bag it up. All right, and it's been draining for a while. And it's time to bag it up. So I like to weigh it out. I like to put two pounds in a bag and one pound in a jar. So we'll go ahead and tear out the bag. Then to fill up the bag, I like to use this scoop. With my scoop, about eight scoops gives me about two pounds. That's a little bit over, so I'm just gonna grab. I like it right around 900 grams. Yep, and then just go ahead and do that for all of them. But I like to put 450 grams in a jar. It fills up about that much. All right, I'll just do a quick demonstration on how to fold these bags. I like to just go down and follow the um, follow the crease all the way down. Make sure it, like how it comes in the package. And then when you get down here, just hold it tight and give it a nice uh, roll. If that's not aligned, just unroll it and readjust it. You don't want a ton of grains on the side. And that's a two pound bag. Just put it with the opening on the bottom and it should be fine. To sterilize it, you have a couple different options. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you can steam sterilize jars. I'm not sure if it works with bags. They tend to be harder to sterilize. But if you have jars, what you can do is you can take a big pot, just put uh, probably about three quarts of water in it, make sure it has a lid just find something to keep the jars off the bottom and just steam it for about 120 minutes a lot of people say 90 minutes I think that's a little bit short for steam sterilizing there's a lot of information on YouTube about steam sterilizing I'm going to go over pressure cooking so when you're pressure cooking these grow bags you don't want you don't want to uh, you don't want to heat seal the end you want to leave it open that allows it to breathe when it's uh, warming up in there. Otherwise you can rupture bags. So I can fit six bags and two jars in one pressure cooker load. Um, make sure the ends are tucked underneath, just like you roll them in preparation. And then you want something on top of this so the plastic doesn't, if they do explode, the plastic won't come up and block the safety valves. You can use anything for that. You can use a plate or something. I just use the trivet that came with my pressure cooker because it's nicely sized. If you're using the same model of Presto as me, you're gonna want three quarts of water. Okay, so we're gonna let this come up to a boil and start purging, and then we're gonna let it purge for about 15 minutes. And then we'll bring it to 15 PSI for at least 90 minutes. You can go a little bit higher. I find 90 minutes works just fine for me. You might need to change it based on your elevation. When you see steam coming out of it like this, that's not actually purging. You're gonna wanna wait for the lock to pop up. Once the lock pops up, you can consider that purging. You wanna just purge for 15 minutes to get rid of any air pockets inside of there because that will prevent it from getting to sterilization temperature all over. All right, once the valve has popped up like that, it's, it's purging. So just set a timer for like 15 minutes or it's not really that important. You just wanna make sure there's no air. It's all replaced with steam. 
once it's nice and purged, you just gotta drop the weight on it and then let it get to pressure. Once you're up at pressure, just set a timer for 90 minutes and then you're basically done. All right, after you've cooked it for 90 minutes and let it come back down to ambient pressure, you can go ahead and open up the lid and let it cool down a little bit. If you notice, I don't have tin foil on these because you don't fucking need it. Yeah. And these bags will start to form a vacuum as they cool down. But I'm going to go ahead and take these jars out so they cool down a bit quicker. Alright guys, once you got your rice all cooked up, if it's in a bag, you're done. Just wait for it to cool and you can use it. But if it's in a jar, you want to shake it up when it's still a little bit hot. And if you just give it a hot shake, it'll be perfect. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Check the links in the description and make sure you drop a comment, subscribe, and a like.